fine tuning selectors with variables we are going to see in this video how do you fine tune your selectors using a variable dynamically how can you pass the value to a variable and the selectors keeps changing okay so we will see in this example for this i am taking the any tailor um, application provided in uipath academy and i am going to provide you the link how to where to download this application and with that we also have uh, the excel file which has the data input data even i am going to provide the link to this sheet so that you guys can practice it okay so what is the job here let me tell you so when i open this application xyz bank any tailor you see the d column use cash count okay so when you click select use cash count as per the value here let's say use both so i have to select use both and then i have to enter cash in value 100 here i'm doing it manually just to show you and honest check right the second value honest check is 28 so i have to enter 28 over here and not on a check 72 so like that i have to do it and submit it and similar way when i go to the second data use piece count right so this time i have to select use piece count and then i have to enter the data 273 right 35 and 47 so like that i have to do it for everything and i have to design this ui uh, design this entire workflow in ui path studio so how do you dynamically select this as per the value coming from an excel file is something we are going to see guys myself rakesh from ui path expo hub i welcome you into the channel uh, in case you are a new visitor please do subscribe to our channel we have all the learnings that you need for ui path uh, in the playlist you can go through and start practicing um, please do like all the videos that you're watching on our channel that way it will help us for our efforts being said let's get started with this example and learn how to do it so the very first thing i have to do is there is an excel file as i said i'm going to provide link to download this you can download it from the description so once you have this file open i have to read it right so for that i'm using a read range activity so watch it till the end do not skip it otherwise you will miss a lot of things so here i'm using a workbook activity you can use excel application score whatever you want so here i'm using a workbook read range activity and i am selecting that particular downloaded file so it is i have kept it in documents so let me go there and i have selected that particular excel file okay so it's going to read the data and i want it to read the entire range so i'll put a double quote all right so that way it's going to read the entire range and i want to store the data to a output variable so control plus k and i'm going to say input data okay so this is going to have the data contained into this variable okay once that is done as i already said while you are using selector if you are not toggling between multiple windows so this time what is happening is going to read the entire data so i'm not going to toggle between multiple applications so once this is done i'll be simply on this application entering the data here correct now to do this what i'm going to do the very first thing i'm going to do is i am going to um, use a attach window so that is a partial selector i'm using i'm not using a full selector rather a partial selector uh, in case you have not uh, you are not sure what is a partial selector what is a full selector um, so please do watch those videos that I have already kept in the playlist so do not come to this video um, uh, because you have to have proper concept uh, otherwise you will go wrong okay so uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the attach window so i'm using attach window and here i am going to click on indicate window screen so i'm keeping this application in the background coming back hitting on indicate and highlighting this application okay so that way my application is selected now the next thing the very complicated thing is it should choose those check boxes as per the input from the excel file okay now for that you have an activity called check okay so i'll use the check activity and here in the check activity again i'll click on indicate element and you see these options will get enabled only when you check the first one use cash count so first activity should be use cash count okay so it has checked it after it has checked it the next thing is it has to read through all the data right so what i'm going to do i'll use a for each row so what is happening let's say i have checked it and once you hit on accept right let's say i'm entering some 
data you have to understand the behavior of the application right so here if i enter the this one i hit on accept you can see this the checkbox remains as it is so it's fine so one activity will check it now i will put this one inside a i mean i'm using a for each row and in the for each row i am going to go through the input data data table okay so it will go through the for each row and from the excel file it's going to read all the data and i want use cash count so what i'm going to do here i'm using another check activity okay here in the check activity i have to pass the selectors with a variable so i have to fine tune the selector so i'm going to show you so before i fine tune what i'm going to do i'll use a assign activity just top of that okay i'm using assign activity and here i'm using a variable so control plus k uh, let's say i'm using a variable called uh, uh, input uh, what is that uh, use cash count input right so uh, or option you can say option okay so control plus k option all right so any variable you want you give a name mm, sorry control plus k let's say choose option okay i have given a variable name and now here what i'm going this is the trick guys okay this is where you have to concentrate so it is reading the input data and i have to pass which column data this column data right so for that the syntax that you have to write is very simple the syntax that you're going to write is row okay it, we are in the for each row right so i am using this row and inside the bracket put a double quote and take the column name use cash count you can also use the index number 0 1 2 3 you can write or else you can take the name of it so this time let me take the name of it and here i am going to type that okay very simple and then i'll convert it to dot to string so that it will convert it to string value and the value will appear in the choose option okay so now every time the loop runs the choose option variable is going to contain use both and then next time it will come use piece count then use both then use amount so multiple values will come as it is reading the excel file okay so depending on the value it has contains what this application is supposed to do this checkbox indicate element and here it should select one of it so for the timing i am just selecting any random one you can select any random one and here we are going to play with the selector okay this is the very very important one how to do it we have to understand okay so this time when your application is slightly complicated right so don't go with this option and try to modify over here what you always do the best option is use the ui explorer okay so ui explorer you can directly click here and an individual window will open there you have to use it so i'm using i'll open this and i am going to click on indicate element and i'm going to highlight use element okay so i did that so the moment you do it what is happening is going to show you in case you are not getting this kind of a data ensure because this is a legacy application in the previous videos i have told you while you are dealing with a microsoft legacy application like vv.net has been built so any legacy application you should go with the active accessibility generally default would work with everything but if it is a legacy application the best choice for you would be selecting the active accessibility if it is the latest application then you should go with ui automation default generally works with everything but you know these are the very specific ones so i'm going with active accessibility so it is selecting everything fine okay so here you can see because i have highlighted use amount here use amount has come so what i'm going to do i will copy this okay you can see all the nodes has been uh, deselected if you are using the proper framework okay so i'm going to highlight all of this copy this i'll go back here to the select uh, editor i mean i'm in the check window and here i have clicked on selector okay so here whatever the i'm going to delete that okay i'm going to delete that and i'm going to paste it okay so i pasted the new one so here what i want instead of taking a constant value it should take a dynamic value from a variable so what you do exactly highlight okay exactly highlight the variable so if you do like this something like this and try to right click nothing will happen so remember after this code remember see if i'm highlighting the code and trying to right click see nothing is working so you have to ensure you know be very careful while highlighting 
just highlight the text within the code and try to right click okay and here you will get this options choose variable choose argument so we have already created a variable so i'll choose variable okay and here you have this option automatically the variable will come called choose option clear where from the for each row so here i'm selecting the choose option variable just double click and you can see automatically it written it has written so now we hit on validate you hit on validate it's still becoming wrong but again not to worry because the choose we have not run the uh, for each row right so click on okay don't worry about this just click on okay all right so let's see let's experiment only this portion of it and see if in our application let me uncheck this so i'm keeping it as by default as it was and i'm going to run this workflow and see if it is going to choose as per the data in the excel file use both use piece count use both you so it has to continuously choose so uh, ensure you close this excel file because we are using a workbook activity so i've closed it i've kept this application open so let me run it and see if this particular function is working dynamically if it is able to do it or not okay so let's see that so the very first thing see you can see how it is you know how it is changing do you see that how it is changing so as per the um, excel file data it is changing and selecting so our workflow is working perfectly fine you got that so this is the very very important concept you have to know now once this is done your next is you have to enter all of this data so this is quite simple for this user type into activity okay and drag and drop this and you have to repeat so first data i'll be entering into the cache in so click on indicate element and select cache in simple and here what data you have to enter row so let me keep the excel file open so that will be easy to understand so this is the excel file so in the cache in, i have to enter the cache in. so i'll copy this column name i'll go back to yapat studio and here i'll simply write the same thing row in bracket double quote i'll put cache in. all right and then i will say dot to string and you will ask why we are do doing dot to string because it's a text box like right? typing into okay so while using type into we can always go to the property panel and hit on empty field okay that way if there is any value it is going to empty and enter the new data the same thing i am going to repeat again one more type into activity and here i'll click on indicate element and this time i am going to enter the second field right so i will highlight the second field okay on us check done and here what value again the same repetition of the code row in bracket double quote go back to the excel file copy the column name on us check and paste it within this and say dot to string okay all right see something went wrong while i was typing if that happens to you just go over here try to correct it all right perfect all right now then third one is type into activity again the same repetition i will go and i am going to select the third uh, option called not on us check okay i'm going to highlight and once you have highlighted again go here and repeat the same piece of code row and in double quote what is the column name this time not on us check so better you can copy it rather than typing you might make a mistake so i will go here and i am going to type saying not on us check and here i'm going to say dot to string all right so this piece of code is written after once you do this so once this is done okay now next thing is you have to hit on accept so for that i'll use a click activity click activity and drag and drop it over here very simple and indicate and here i'm using a accept button okay so that way it's going to repeat within the for each row okay it is going to repeat the same all the data it's going to do the job so the main learning point was here so let us run this workflow entirely and see how it is working so before that as i said always close your excel file if you are using a workbook activity so let me close it and then uh, the next thing i have to do is go to the any teller application and ensure this is unchecked keep it as as it is and start running the workflow and see how it is going to work okay so let's see okay it has started do you see use both and it's entering the data and hitting on accept use piece count entering the data hitting on accept so it is doing the job perfectly 
find the way we want it. Okay, so this is one of the very critical use case in any teller application fine tuning selectors with variables. Okay, so this is one of the example that you have to learn and practice. I am going to provide link of uh, this to application and the input file in the description box. Please go there and download and start practicing it guys. In case you are a new subscriber, I request you to subscribe to our channel. We come up with daily videos for you, daily learning videos for you. So you will get a lots of benefit. Please do like all our videos that you're watching. That way, all the effort that we put for you to you know, share the knowledge with you so that it's going to help you in the future. Please do a favor for us by liking our videos. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have a wonderful day.